major Western powers, including Great Britain, have not recognized Bangladesh? You see, they have their difficulties also. I don't like to blame anybody now. I hope, so far the Great Britain and France and others are concerned, uh, they will recognize the reality and expect also. I mean, the United States of America, people of the United States of America, and other the journalists, the men of uh, reputations, the intellectuals, they understand the reality. And I'm sure it will be very big public pressure on Nixon government. Do you hope that your country will be in the Commonwealth? You see, I can, this much I can say, I am not against the Commonwealth. If I get the recognition, then my government will consider it. I was talking to some of the student leaders this week and, and they told me that they regard the Bangladesh Students League as being the parent organization of the Awami League and that they're in a position to influence or even control your policies. The student's body never interferes. They never interfere. The sister organization, no doubt about it. I'm the founder of the East Pakistan Student League also. And um, I'm sure because they follow, our, uh, we, we follow each other's policies. They never try to influence on my point, my, my, my point of view. I can influence them. So at the time of the surrender, the Indian General Manak Shaw gave a pledge that the Pakistani soldiers and the civilians would be treated with respect under the terms of the Geneva Convention. They're doing it. I'm will, glad. That pledge will be honored, will it, sir? I'm glad they're doing it. They're doing it. Do you foresee any links in the future between Bangladesh and Pakistan? Let them recognize the reality first. Then I will give the reply. Uh, can I ask you, sir, about foreign investment in Bangladesh? I'm thinking in particular about British tea and jute interests. Do you have any plans for these industries? I have not yet nationalized it. I have no intention for the time being. And finally, sir, when a few weeks ago it was suggested that Bangladesh would not accept any aid from America, is that still the case? I have not told it. Who told you these things? Now, this was said in the press before your return, no, sir. No, no, nobody has said that thing. He started to have cleared it. And Anybody wanted to give us help, we have no objection. But there will be no condition. 